It's been a very difficult stretch of weather throughout the state of California, and that can't be underestimated here. Fox News multimedia reporter Ashley Soriana joining us now from Lake Arrowhead, California. And Ashley, the San Bernardino Mountains used to wildfires, right? Not these sort of intense snowstorms. This area really hasn't seen this much snow in decades. Good evening, Marissa. That's exactly right. This community is not used to blizzards. It's Southern California. What's left three weeks later is a slushy mess. Today uh, was really the first day sunlight came out and the, the snow is starting to melt, but you can still see just how much snow is left three weeks later. And for reference, I'm five foot three. A week ago, I couldn't see that house up there at all. Paige Renfro has lived in the San Bernardino Mountains for 38 years. We're in our treetops. <laughs> About eight feet of snow trapped her and her family inside their home in late February. They were prepared with a generator, food, and other supplies, but not everyone was. We kind of became the command post. Our neighbors came here, they stayed here. We have um, a couple of girls that live two doors down and they and their cats could not get out to help, to get help. They put a little sign in their window that said, help us, trapped. We were digging and my husband looked and, and saw that sign and uh, they dug them out. The San Bernardino Fire Department received well over 1,800 calls. Trees fell on roof, elderly trapped yeah, inside. <laughs> California's total snowfall is inches from a 30 year record, according to UC Berkeley. We do not get blizzard warnings in this area. I wouldn't even say it happens rarely. With help from agencies as far south as San Diego, the county has cleared about 90% of its roads. Oh, there's a whole roof collapse. But some in more remote parts of the mountains live on private roads that the county is not responsible for plowing. Paige Renfro says they feel forgotten. Clearing a path to safety, that should actually be the primary thing. And I'm sure it was, but I think that the forgotten few of us um, didn't feel that way. And now people who live here, they say they're starting to have to rethink their survival methods in case a natural disaster like this one happens again. Marissa. This is going to be a snowstorm that we're talking about for years to come. And hopefully, yeah, now we we've seen what can happen and we can start to prepare for that moving forward. But best of luck to these folks that are still trying to dig out of that heavy snow. Ashley, appreciate the update out of Lake Arrowhead, California. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.